family and that like you know when I sing most often I like to relate it to realities mm -hmm. you know so when I gave one reality CJ mami and ya mami even my wife was asking who's ya mami <laughs> you know what I mean so uh, why then there it, was it some makes it suspicious, nice. suspicious of way oh no it's just a question like, uh, it's just a I mean you mentioned question. CJ mami which we all know is Dr. Louisa so exactly. who is ya mami yeah, exactly so she even she, she would have the you know the right to ask mm. in a funny way mm. you know so I try to make music I try to put myself in the music as much as mm. you know I can so I just have to do the needful and mm -hmm. feature them in the video. Mm. You know, mm. uh, you know. I know it's the truth. The, 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 the first version <laughs> of the video didn't even have them in there. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what I mean? although mm -hmm. the original plan was to have them, but timings and all of that. Mm. But eventually, it came out very beautiful. I saw my daughter in there, my wife in there. Yeah. People love the fact that you know, say kind of for the concert on the floor. So they want to see your family, family. <laughs> and how about the girls? Girls, were they jealous in a way? No, no, no girl, girl is ever jealous about anything. Okay. Honestly speaking, all the girls, girls, all my friends, all my sisters, all my aunties. Yeah, I'm all not my talking colleagues. about your friends and your no, sisters. No, girls, girls, I'm just yeah, being specific. I'm talking about the other ones. No, I'm just being specific. Okay. Uh, which is? Like, I'm cutting across all the sphere of girls. Oh, okay. Including the girls. Yeah, girls. Exactly. <laughs> nice one. They're all happy about whatever, mm. everything that's going on. Mm. They're even going to be there at the Bean Fridays, which is the first edition. You know, and you see, you know, oh, that the whole family is coming. I mean, all the girls, girls that you are talking about. Ah, the girls, girls. I thought that you said uh, CJ, mommy, and uh, CJ. everybody will be there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a party, including your girls, <laughs> girls. <too. laughs> I'm a fast <laughs> I'm a man of God, so I don't do girls, girls. I'm not like the guy, the Rasta man behind me. That's on a light under the yeah, he, he is very evil. I know him. Now, now so let, let's get this clear before we move Disclaimer, on. Disclaimer, I'm not adding up to say he's evil. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's not <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I disassociate <laughs> myself. I, you know, I can, I can, no, no, I can't. I can't can own up to this responsibility. This I don't fear at all. <laughs> so let's get your management structure because sometimes whilst here we have some discussions and um, Abiola has been so far good to me mm -hmm. when it comes to supplying some information. Yeah. Um, sometimes we struggle. Who should we go to? Who can help us when it is being nation mm -hmm. discussion? So maybe today on this platform, my producer is also here mm -hmm. listening. <clears throat> uh, how is the structure like in your team? Thank you very much. I see. I see. I've been asked this question. Uh, people are really interested in how my my managerial structure is like now mm. Mm. and I, I don't know specifically why they're interested is it because they want to know or they're having difficulties but i believe it's not difficulties i'm also here with the masses i know what it is mm -hmm. Ghanaians do really want to know mm -hmm. they want to know hey wait hey, 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 hey. but you know over the time i've actually kept everything the way i want it to be like you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So for now, if you want to contact me, like I've always said, you can call the office line 050 1550,000. You know, I roll with Chief Abiola, who has been an, a person close to the industry for a very long time and a personal brother of mine. Mm -hmm. So for a close confidant, you can also reach out to him. But the best way to do is to reach out to the company and you'll be served with who, where you have to go. Because the team has been big. And it's always going to get bigger as we grow bigger. Mm. You know? So mm. Mm. there are people in the state and the UK, everywhere in the world working mm. on the brand Stone Boy. Mm. So if you do need any inquiries, there are definitely numbers out there. The email is there, Stone Boy Official, Official VMGGH. They are all on my pages when you follow Instagram. You see Bradley Time Music Group is there. There are information. You can reach us out. May not seem difficult. I know it's just out of inquisitivity. That people want to know. Oh, I, I doubt it is out of inquisitivity. Yeah. No, I don't doubt. I am. No. We are all here. No, be, because because from our end, maybe you might also not understand it from our end. Sometimes we might be having like a discussion. It's a simple want. matter. Like mm -hmm. people want to know. Oh, black CD. Oh, blue CD. Oh, green CD. This, this, this. No, it is not about black CD. He is gone. That is how we understand <laughs> it. Okay, so for now, uh -huh. if you might want to keep to that type of structure, like I said, because even when, even even in the past, you call one person. Yes. You know, Ghanaians were used to, oh, we're 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 we
when you call that number to on Sabe coming, that's true. Speaking. That's true. Yeah. Mm. And so now there is nothing like that. It's just the structure, the, the bigger structure that we exactly, should follow. Yeah. yeah. So because actually, that's like I said already, there are so many people working <coughs> on the brand, and one man can't do it alone. Mm. But there's a contact that which whatever information you need, bookings, however, mm. you can get. Mm. You know, you can get through. This morning, when I woke up and I checked Twitter, the first thing I saw at number one was Stoneboy for Grammys. And I was asking, uh, has Stoneboy, apart from the certificate he received, has he been nominated again? What really were you telling your people uh, that really sent them a cock on uh, Twitter? Um, thank you. I think, I, you know, I've seen that as well. It, it will be a, it will be of a great joy to the Ghanaian masses, both home and abroad, you know, across their fan bases, you know, that um, one of us would get nominated for the Grammys. And mm -hmm. I think, owing to the current times, I have been one that I've been working within that sphere. Mm -hmm. You know, as in I put out an album that was considered somehow, some way, so they have enough clue to feel that hopefully today, by the end of the day, I think it's today, mm -hmm when the nominations come out mm -hmm. we would have you know we would get good news so mm -hmm. that's what that is about oh, so it was and just so the energy promotion the publicity yeah the energy the is fact really that high uh, the grammy board should recognize their boss exactly wow okay um, and that is i mean that is a very good thing to still do like keeping the spirit high you know? mm -hmm. now the day we you received your first <coughs> certificate uh, from the grammy board yeah. how was the feeling uh, it was a good feeling because, you know, like, in the end, this is a boy from Ashaiman, you know, mm -hmm. a ghetto from Ashaiman who once had a dream and it's all becoming reality gradually. So mm -hmm. That only tells me that there's more room for improvement and the sky is not even the limit anymore. So, mm -hmm. you know, as for that, I'm really grateful to have been recognized, you know, at that level for working with legendary group Morgan Heritage. Mm, mm. It's a thing that nobody can take away from me. It's a thing that we live on. And the only thing is that we, as the current people right now, would also make sure we turn things around so that in the next 10, 15 years to come, there would be enough information about what we have done. And by so doing, we will, we will also make sure that our predecessors who have done the most Mm -hmm. would also be recognized like what you guys were talking about before mm -hmm. then. I believe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why we were laughing like you asked from mm -hmm. now on said was I pointed at him that do you remember we were talking about this thing at one of my video shoots mm -hmm. so I think if you if you be honest I was the one who said that we needed to have Ghana Hall of Fame okay which is actually inducted by the government is not any private sector whatever Mm -hmm. Even if private sectors will come together, yes. Yeah, but play, but right? this is a thing where you say if Stoneboy is inducted in a Hall of Fame of Ghana, that alone can open doors for my kids and my grandchildren, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is what I think if we do get one day, we'll all get to learn and study about our great people. Mm -hmm. Because some people have done stuff that can never be done again, whether we like it or not. But then their names are not attached to it. Or they are not known for it you know, into the fourth generation, mm. which is us. Mm. Meanwhile, we will be benefiting off it. The other time I saw Peter Doce, a Nigerian legendary mm. actor, mm. he mm. was talking about Ghanaian music, how it all started, how high life came from Ghana into Nigeria. And he was mentioning names like Point Blank, Ghanaian names, and I was amazed. I was like, huh? So these are things that I mm. think well, are it's only our all elderly these. people who mm. know. Look at Peter Doge and his age rank. Mm -hmm. You don't expect me, except I love to read and I love to know, to fetch such information. But how accurate is that information going to be? So mm. I think that the arts, culture, the, the stakeholders, mm. if we do get, like we have Hollywood Hall of Fame, mm. Mm. if mm. we have Ghana Hall of Fame, it will do a lot to us. Okay. Know. I believe you have a huge voice, so as you trumpet it, maybe yeah. the right authorities will hear yeah. and they'll do something about yeah. it. And again, we are expecting it will be good news for the music industry if you get nominated, so let's still be hopeful. Amen. Um, Amen. Let me ask this for artists. Yeah. What does it take to get Stoneboy on a song at the moment, knowing your stature, knowing how you are uh, going, how far you're going with your music? How, what would it take 
if I'm an artist and I want stone boy on my song. Thank you very much. It's a combination of two things that like it has always been. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I chance upon the songs and I love them myself and I wouldn't mind supporting, you know. And definitely there's a business aspect to that. Even if I did the song for free, as you don't pay for the vocal recording or the studio session, we're still gonna have to be part of the owners of the song by all means because immediately the song is ready for commercial purposes there's going to be that speed sheet that would have to certify that we own this part this percent this mm. thing for sales and that so irrespective of however we get to connect whether i like the song whether you contacted me and said the song and are, are charged or are not charged by the management whatsoever mm -hmm. you know there's a business aspect to it. So two things, sometimes I like the song and I can jump onto it. Mm -hmm. And other times too, I get, we get approached, not say I, sometimes I, but most of it is we get approached. The management And mm -hmm. then I jump on the song. Mm -hmm. yeah. But one thing that has become um, a factor is timing. You know, it's, we are all getting very busy by the day. And we're getting really, 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 really tough to, to do things according to people's timings when it comes to featurings and even being available to, to video, know, shoot. video shoots mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. I mean I'll use this opportunity to I know I have a few people whose videos I have to shoot not not more than two because <laughs> I always have time yeah. <laughs> but I'm very I'm very me I'm very I try to be very truthful so because I have it on my mind and because we've all been undergrounds before and sometimes you only pray that Charlie send to me money video no mammy Mm -hmm. I know how that feels, but it is not intentional. Sometimes put me try and I feel oh yeah, I'm happy. Or run out my mind at your time. As I can over time, your time, you ain't go see the via because she knew us here. Hey, America came. But but how do you handle such? Do you tell them that, bro? Um, I might not get time. Can you move on? Or you still tell them, hold on, I'll come. Hold on, I'll come because I'm sure I don't know your time, but we hold your best six months still. All it is need here. Sometimes, those and sometimes, what kind of credit is like, yeah, I hate to say, okay, to waste it. But what I try to do is that I try to do it, so we just keep working with timings. If you tell me, like, like give me a date and then we we'll cross check. So once you send the date and we we'll cross check and I'm going to be busy, I'll inform you I may not be able to make it for that date. Then it mm. saves you some time. Mm. Then you pick another date. So for me, that's how I think I've been able to do it, so that if that I don't. They don't even care so much, you know, because we all do this. We are all in the same business. Sometimes we incur losses by trying to just fix a video. So I make sure until I give you my final words, mm -hmm. even with some space on the side, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. there can be um, there can be unexpected stuff that would happen anyway. So mm -hmm. that's how I've dealt with it. I try to be honest. Mm -hmm. See, now one of the boys whose song you jumped in, <coughs> LaRusso, yeah. is uh, doing wonders for Ghana. Uh, and, and I want I'm to believe you too. might be happy for him at the moment. No, I'm happy. It's not like I might be happy. Because, I mean, if it was after now that I was joining him to lend the support, mm -hmm. then it might seem that because he is getting some clouds, I want to be a part of that, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. John know that for mm -hmm. me, I've always been a starter with, with a lot of people, and I can mention mm -hmm. a lot of names, like some, most, some of the songs that I jumped on, and hence, it blew, and that actually took the artist to a next level, and I'm always grateful for that. It's not by magic, it's not by might. Mm -hmm. I think it's just, it's just the right time and God, mm -hmm. you know? So mm -hmm. I want to jump on LaRusso's Kili Kili, give him a feature at the, um, Afro Nation. Mm -hmm. I think he added a lot, and he, and since they have been really grateful, That's like true. his management, even himself. Um, you know, big respect to the team. Mm. Should he approach you for a signing on to the Dean label? Would you agree? Since you are seeing his growth, you see his talents. Let's be honest. I think he is well where he is. Mm. All he would need is our individual support, as in, and like I offered him. Mm. Yeah. But would you do that again? Would you sign on another artist to the label again? Yeah, in time, in time, and 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 I mean, we have. I have. A, I have another plan that will roll out. Just like I have the Beam Fridays rolling out. I have Beam Friday mm -hmm. for like three years on my mind, and mm -hmm. we were just being able to launch uh, launch it and do the Accra edition for the first time. Mm -hmm. So there's another program that I, I I think I believe that in the right time it will be launched, and that is what is going to unearth 
artist and put them in the right line have several um, um, forms of uh, understandings, you know, working relationships with them. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Not necessarily a 360, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've learned a lot along the way, so mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. how to do things better. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I think somewhere last week or two weeks ago, I saw on your social media that you shared a billboard from Osu. Now we're talking business. Uh, you shared a, bill, a billboard from Osu and yeah. you said this is the biggest billboard in Ghana. Oh, it should be. <laughs> it should be. It should be. It should be. If there's any other one, let, let them show me. Okay. So how many organizations are you now an ambassador for as Stoneboy, brand Stoneboy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is money, so you I'm, see the laughter. I'm brand ambassador for Beam Nation, uh -huh. first and foremost. Uh -huh. And I mean, I work for Techno Mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, I've previously worked with Samsung, mm -hmm. but I'm not here to sing Samsung's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You worked for Samsung, but you're not here to sing some songs. Uh, Song like Oputu. You can't say no to tech. You know? <laughs> tech is a, 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 tech is a, 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 is a way. You can't say no to tech. Yeah, technology mm -hmm. is there. Uh, well, you know, so you are an artist too. <laughs> yeah, it's allowed. <laughs> so we work with Techno now, brand ambassador for Common 16. Mm -hmm. um, I partnered with uh, Bell Beverages on the, on, the, on the production of um, Big Boss Energy Drink. Mm -hmm. And so, um, anymore. Biscuit. Uh -huh. Yeah, there is some biscuit. There's right? some biscuit of chew. Uh, um, Macberry's biscuit. I have the biggest biscuit, com I mean, biggest, nicest, you know. So mm -hmm. these are brands that I love. Mm -hmm. So every brand that I have to save myself with, I must love. Mm -hmm. This is me. Mm -hmm. My, you see, God being so good, eh? my iPhone, it froze on me. Eh? Today I was going to post the iPhone on live. It froze on me weeks ago. Eh? Uh -huh. And I'm happy it did so. Because if you want the proper and the best phone right now, it's Techno Common 16. Look at that customizer. Wow. Yeah, so please, wow. I'll give you a discount so you can get one as well. Okay. Yes. We'll we'll talk talk about phones right. later. You have one right here. And Techno, you should have said no. I don't have oh. Techno, but we'll talk about phones later. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, so let, let's talk about the business aspect. Um, because we have not been playing shows, yes, I know you have suffered even more than some artists because during summer, yeah. I, I was just imagining like Stone Boy, if it hadn't been this Corona, <laughs> Stone Boy would be flying from here to there to there to there. Did your ambassadorial deals take care of you and your team? And maybe even to extension your family? Oh, once, as to understand my family, once I'm, every man is working, even if the church or the other makes 100 cities on the road, Family shares like 70. You have to take your family first. And family could include your nuclear mm -hmm. and people that mm -hmm. surround you the closest. Mm -hmm. So, for sure, for sure. Um, business has come. Uh, I mean, we've been able to survive. Like everybody else is surviving. I know big corporations have gotten hit. They got hit by this. Every, the world is facing the corona. Numbers are still on the rise. So, we've lost some monies by not being able to do the regular. Mm. as musicians as well but i think we we we've managed to sail through till this point and gradually when we all finally get into the new normal mm. or this uh, what's the bible the one the, the, the f something the virus uh, the vaccine the, ah. the testing they call it the f FC something size out or something oh you mean the company yeah. i think yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a pharmaceutical company yes. the size out or something like yes, that yes yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. if if they do get us to where, where they want to take us to mm -hmm. and you everything want to. Get but, but then i i heard you have a show in may in uk in May 2021, sorry, let me... Yes, 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 please, yes, please. That's, that, 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 that was supposed to have happened in 2020 already. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I, I, I remember in February 2020 was when I left Ghana for my American tour, mm -hmm. European tour, and then mm -hmm. UK tour. Mm -hmm. uh, so that one, you know, is still being moved on. Moved on. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the European tour as well is still being moved on. As we speak now, the American tour has been on hold. So when things get back to... A position where we can all get back we will just keep working mm -hmm. but for the meantime i'm in ghana mm -hmm. you know to continue to do, do you sometimes do you sometimes miss flying yeah sometimes when i go by the airport 
I just I just um personally if you know me I not camera camera kind of I don't love to, if you know me I feel I feel more you can't say bro me who told me more say me will be will be any oh Okay, uh-huh. I think I understand yeah, why you yeah, love yeah. to travel. <laughs> if I did where nobody know me, I'd feel very free. If we ask my guy, we go and say the other time. Yeah. I mean, I just make But personally, when I saw you in SS Stone Boy Park 1 2, Corona still acquired for quite a while. Hey, Jumano, who said, Hey, Jumano, you have to work because, you know, Ghana for part of the park and until you kill yourself to prove yourself worthy of support. Mm, mm. You hardly get the right support. Okay. But aside from that, for me, everybody knows that I've been trying to push my works here and there. And my album actually consists of great works that need continuity. Mm. So I'm not halting anytime soon. Mm. I went out there to shoot a video with Nasty C mm. for the Bow Down song on the album. Mm. Like I said, mm. so I'm continuing to promote and push the album. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Still on Beam Fridays. I yes. think last week yes. we had a discussion here and uh, we were thinking about the longevity, how yeah. long you can do this. Yeah. Interestingly, whilst you were doing the earlier submission, you mentioned three years. Is it going to be easy? Have you considered all the hearts and the soft in there in doing this for three years in a row? Please, um, say that again. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm I, sorry. I was talking about longevity of the yeah. Beam Fridays. Yes. And last week, whilst we were discussing it, we said, would you be able to do it for a longer duration? But I still remember you mentioned you have plans to do it for three years. And I'm asking, have you considered all the difficulties Beam, in there, the challenges? Okay. For Beam Fridays, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you very much. For Beam Fridays, right, I, I don't know how, but I don't remember saying we're just going to do content for three years. It's going to last longer. So you never said that. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. I said I mean, you said you had it in mind three years ago. Uh, I said I had this plan in mind <laughs> okay, from okay. like three years ago. All right, uh-huh. all right good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The purpose is actually, and um, thanks for the question, mm-hmm. it's not to do like every Friday kind of thing. It's not every Friday we have Beam Fridays. Mm-hmm. I needed a certain platform that I can create for myself. To, to run with when it comes to um, touching base with the individual fan bases or music lovers across Ghana and mm. the world, especially across Ghana. Mm. Because I find out that I've been doing a few things outside of Accra over the period. And when you go outside of Accra to probably Boku, Zebila, I was in Zebila the other time. Mm-hmm. I was in Boku, Bolgatanga, Bro. You see the love and you see the energy and personally as an artist I feel like they deserve they deserve something, you know. And even so, it grows like it it, 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 it solidifies your stance the more. Mm. You know, so we're going to be having this Beam Fridays as a platform to move this version in Accra is going to be the lunch and the only one in Accra for now. Mm-hmm. And every other or any other month when we do have time, once in a month on a Friday, we'll move the Beam Fridays somewhere. It could be in Cape Coast, it could be in Sunyani, it could be in Tamale, it could be in Wa, it could be in Ho, it could be in... Like, the only thing you will say, Bebano, you know, that's the intention. We take mm. it to mm. the people, like mm. we take the music to the people, we take the fun and interaction to the people, we socialize. Corona and I say, Abana, Amadi and I like, but still, I say you tune it to us, you know what I mean? So, because we're not going to be able to do a shaman to the world like the way we do, mm. this is this time I felt the need to push this through, at least launch it, mm-hmm. so that the people have an idea. And then, God willing, when things go down, mm-hmm. we can now hit the road. Mm-hmm. Because for me, it's like a road show. It's like a meet and greet. It's like all the partners that I work with business-wise, we have found a way for the masses to also benefit from. So like this one is powered by Berenta Music Group and we are Johnny Walker is celebrating our two hundredth mm, year. Mm, you know, mm. so we partnered with Johnny Walker to come on board mm-hmm. for us to do this Techno Mobile, Big Boss Energy, Multi Choice Ghana, Platinum Furniture and Enclave Gardens is the location from Seven mm. So all of these people we're just working together. You know what I mean? You're gonna win prizes, some but some people are gonna win phones, some people like there's acoustic sessions, it's just a time for probably people who want to showcase that 
yeah. talents to also get, you know, from DJs. Mm. Like this is a, without stuff like this, I don't think we can be able to grow the industry because we need stuff like this to go on. Mm. So it's a being Fridays, you can come at the gate, you get your ticket at the gate. It's really very affordable mm. because you win stuff in the end as well. And you get, like the first 200 people that pop in are gonna get some, like it's just us, it's just fun, we're hanging out, you feel me? Like, we need to intensify the social vibe so that we'll be able to mm -hmm. connect with the fan base and more. This is why in Fridays. So look out for me if you're in far upper east. We might be touching base being Fridays, you know. So that's the reason why. So so on, on the days of the being Fridays, would you be performing alone, or you would still have some of your colleague artists coming to support you with performances? Um, not performances necessarily. It's just the appearance and presence, you know. Because honestly. Um, Beam Nation is our nation, but it belongs to everybody. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong to just Stonebrook. Mm -hmm. It belongs to every other artist who can access that that number. Mm -hmm. You know, so friend artists will be invited and have been invited. People from the corporate, you know, like all on the to the streets have been invited. So we'll just come see. I will be doing an acoustic session mm -hmm. to round it all up mm -hmm. at every Beam Friday. Mm -hmm. But I know mm -hmm. that fellow friends or fellow artists, when they come and the vibe is right, they want to sing a song or two for the fan base, they want to tell them what's up, mm -hmm. to lend their support and all. Mm -hmm. This is why we're doing the Big Friday. I see. So we're doing the first one this very Friday. Exactly, and the Accra edition. Uh, as do we have the rate yet? Yeah, but at the gate. At the gate. Yeah. <laughs> all right, very well. And then there are tables as well for big men like you, you know, mm -hmm. like everything is set, you sit at the table with your crew, mm -hmm. you know. There's definitely, you can't enter without your face masks or your mm. nose masks mm. or your mouth masks. <laughs> Interestingly, when we start drinking, we all forget the nose mask though. Imagine. <laughs> Even as we are talking right now. So you see, I think reality there is true. Yeah, we, we are all trying to it. take precaution, but mm. we're trying to live as well. So mm. Mm. We, just, we just keep managing. Okay, so I saw your announcement of someone leaking your song with the video. Mm -hmm. Have you dealt with it finally yet? No, it's, 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 it's happening. It's a process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how are you doing it? Because there are some people who even doubt the truth in that. They think it's a publicity stunt. It is a way for you to get mm -hmm. people to talk about your song. Yeah. It's always like that, you know. There are always opinions about stuff. So, even if... So, that's why sometimes you don't have to explain too much. Because who believes mm -hmm. who believes who doesn't, doesn't believe. Mm -hmm. The song was leaked. It was a sad thing. Mm -hmm. We had planned to release the song. Um, first week December, mm -hmm. you know, and it just leaked like that with the artwork and everything, and I mm -hmm. feel like it, it, it's very, very, very unfair, mm -hmm. you know, like, we are in 2020, and, and, and that lifestyle should be over by now, mm -hmm. you know, because these are people's property, this is somebody's intellectual property after, after spending huge sums of monies to, to create or to make, and then you chance upon it however you did, and then you just go and upload it for commercial purpose. Mm -hmm. I think it doesn't stand in any way better. Yesterday I was watching a video of one woman and her two babies, like a baby and some infant, and it is like this too, so that we know that some acts are even more criminal more than some act. Mm -hmm. This woman went to another man's farm. It's a Kumasi story, it's live. It was A plus who posted it. And then guess what? The long and short of it is that I and I knew rabbit to woman or see on pity. Omu Jili man, you know, in a pan. It's a three three man with a six six man. It is a come do you be now to my friend, you know, in that situation. How much more somebody who counts for your intellectual property and puts it out for commercial purposes? Which one is more criminal? But do you have some suspicions because I believe you know the people who are likely to have access to their work. Uh, yes, actually, actually, but I can't point fingers at anybody because you are going to shoot the video. You might have sent a song to a producer. Gazi would have been working on it in the studio. The, the, the only thing is mm -hmm. to get access to the song is not a problem because we work with people. Mm -hmm. But the intention to put it on your site and put it out there mm -hmm. is uh, you've gone to the next level of wickedness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because from when we recorded the song till now, a number of people are, you know. Mm -hmm. But are you going to be the one to show face and be like, okay, I'm going to put it out there with an artwork and everything? This is our property. Look, with our money that we we, we paid, because these things are done 
proud to release like 12 sometimes six weeks prior mm -hmm. you know and we've paid for pr promo all the international links are ready to jump on it well david is working in collaboration with sony i immediately have issues with sony now as we speak mm, because of that leaking. because they gave me clearance and after clearance is leaked and it is your country is your region that has leaked the thing like are you messing with us do you get me like PR paid from all across the ends, UK, Europe, America, scanning our shield. Mm. So, why would you do me this week? When you're not at tea, but fatally, because maybe I'll fire on you and maybe I'll obey you, man. But what they do, what happened? My book, I didn't say, okay, maybe I'll tell you, and then we see Kane. Only a bit too. Because I normally the nipa and a bit, but basically, so who said you've done me with KBC? And also, we are working as a team, as people who want to grow. So the individual bodies would have to get to work. So they are on the work, and I know that by the end of the day, this is Ghana. Once you get into the hands of the law, my brother, then you will come. I see. Let's still hover around some of the public discussion. This time round, I want us to talk about the Assassin Sound Clash. Yes, I am. Shatawale was here, I think, some weeks ago, and according to him, on the day, out of the plans you guys had, you got emotional on the stage. Can you confirm that? And that even out of that, you've not been picking his calls. He said that in an interview with Kwekumano. What can Shatawale not say? But I think he was just after I heard. After I heard. The way he said it, mm -hmm. I felt that. I mean, like I said on the radio station yesterday, after mm -hmm. I heard it with my ears, I knew it, it wasn't that deep. He was just vibing. But one of the things he said was like, you know, because I have to confirm some things, like, oh, um, you're planning, you say, but I don't know how he, I don't know whether he has an emotional detection machine <laughs> to realize that, <laughs> and I mean, my funny high. Mm. But you can talk about you better, mm -hmm. you know. But, you should also know so he can't the orca family only the near life. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't too serious anyway. He wasn't mm -hmm. that serious, he was just vibing. Mm -hmm. but, but, I, I remember after the clash we also saw some uh, activities online, especially when the car issue came in and they gave the car to mm -hmm. an SM person. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of some of your tweets or uh, some of your statements online mm -hmm. suggested that you were not very happy with their decision especially. I, you see, I, that is total concern, you know what I mean? I'm, the, I'm in the forefront of this whole thing. This is just like the two biggest political parties we have. You always have a banter, you always have a back and forth, you know what I mean? So I think that is a normal thing to do because uh, as, as of the time that um, the polls closed, I believe that we won the polls. Mm -hmm. And when they went back in and out and all of that, paid the proceedings and all, they came out and said, Rare, rare, rare. This is how it was. When after the other votes came in, like they were saying, maybe the mailing votes. <laughs> Just like <comment. laughs> when, when the mailing votes came mm. in after it over fine. Mm. That's what I see. So for mm. me, that is in the past. In the mm. end, we had a very beautiful show mm. and mm. Was mm. Like brought some life to the whole thing. Mm. And one mm. thing I would always say is that thanks to all the people who voted, mm. thank you everybody who voted. Trust mm. me. Um, for us, they know if you check the statistics, they it was clear. Several individuals voted for me, and it was just one person, the same man who won the car, mm -hmm. who made sure he got the car from Shatter's end. So, when you check the statistics, like I'm here to, to speak of the truth, and I'm impressed about the number of the, the diverse nature of my fan base and the support. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, that's what I'm really grateful for, and we have to use that energy to do more things. But in the end, I mean, this is normal. I don't know why Shata is saying that. I've gotten emotional very, very, very now. I think you're just kidding about that. <clears throat> I see. In the music industry, uh, Stoneboy, do you believe in friendship or you think we should be business colleagues? Uh, we should be business colleagues and not asking, this is my friend, that is my friend. I'm really grateful for this question, then, brother. <clears throat> this question is very, very big a topic. <clears throat> um, in the business world, there are principles that Things. That's why when business comes to play, legal comes to play, you know, different, it's paper. Business is more paper and, and, and verbal sometimes. But mm -hmm. friendship is, 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 is a Rasta mom says, Hatika, you get me? Mm -hmm. Friendship is from the heart. Friendship is, you don't even plan to make friends. Nobody, 
nobody puts a paper on a, or a contract a friendship, you know. So these are two separate things. But when friends are able to do business and apply the business principles to it, then it guarantees um, a non-conflict of interest. So you find out that the friendship grows, the business grows because they are applying the business principles the to the business, mm -hmm. and then the friendship is free flow. But as we find most often, we are somehow caught in between using the friendship ethics to do the business as friends most often sometimes. And these are things that we are all dealing with. I'm not taking myself out of it. We are all battling with it gradually to when we get to realize that uh, the business is not supposed to be that sentimental. It's supposed to be really honest. Mm. And if it's not even really honest, once what is on the paper states what it is, then we can all take the paper, go with it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. as for the friendship here, mm -hmm. we have to grow. So in the industry, I think that that is what we're trying to work out. Mm -hmm. But So do you still have some people in the industry you call your friends? Hmm. That, that's another thing. I would want to understand friends, as you say. Mm -hmm. If we're trying to describe friendship by the term friendship, mm -hmm. then we should know that there's a high level of responsibility placed on friendship. Like a friend. Mm. It's somebody you can call on, somebody they can call, they, or they can also call on you, mm. somebody you can visit, somebody that visits you, yeah. somebody that yeah, cares, exactly. somebody that goes into your family. Mm. Mm. And I, th I, I can't tell for me right now, I think that is not how it really started with me. So I do not, maybe my friends, no, I mean, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going Come on, the your friends proper. Come on, the your friends proper. I shall honor. I shall say, King J, my papa, I'm happy. When I am young, back home, I'm the future. I'm going to be sunny, bunny. When I say, I'm going to be a guy. I tell you, I tell you, so rest in peace, vibrant fire. Vibrant was like my junior brother. Mm -hmm. I introduced Vibram Fire to the to the scene proper, you mm -hmm. know, then can it be and I'm an also like I said big respect to Black Rasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your godfather So these would these people would have been my type type because we have some we come from Lebanon, a shy man, mm -hmm. we have history, mm -hmm. you feel me? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But you see on the top top where here we are, I think that uh, moving further, I'll say big respect to Somebody that I, I, I do, my heart does really feel free to speak to and open up to any time we meet is Mogis. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. is Mogis. And that, that's, you know, I don't want to, because I, that's why I started by saying I want to know the meaning of the friendship mm. that you no, that's not the same definition. Uh -huh. So that, so most of it, when I go straight answer and mm. I say, I don't think I have friends in the industry. I get to be misinterpreted because mm -hmm. friendship is like bigger mm -hmm. than just acquaintances so, so what and people should, that we work with. Should someone with. quote that Stoneboy is a friend to say Shatawale Sakode, you, it is not a quote that you would certify? I think it shouldn't be a quote that can 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 be satisfied. Uh, uh, certified. I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because because I believe that mm. uh, we are industry brothers. Mm. Uh, we are industry brothers, and we are industry friends. One mm. of the industry they did, I think that can dilute the level of raw friendship. Friendship as mm. there is, mm. you know mm. what I mean. So, mm. Mm. That's what I can say. Okay. Know. Yesterday, I followed your interview on HFM where you said that Aisha Modi is a big sister and therefore you don't have control about what she says. Yeah. But I'm asking that what if some of the things she says are likely to have a dent on your image? Thank How you would you clear much. that as well? I'm really grateful for this one. Mm. I think, you know, after sometimes we speak, like right now as we're talking, mm. the media team will be doing headlines mm. and bulleting. Mm. The headlines have to bullet. <laughs> if your headlines <laughs> don't bullet, <laughs> you're not going to get readers. Uh -huh. And then on top of that, mm -hmm. I think Ghanaians don't really read. Mm -hmm. So the headline bullet and pair, you go home. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That them time you see at the graphic stands, mm -hmm. they're printed big graphic showbiz. Kojo mm -hmm. Memu as Sebi rips up. Ah, hey, we're up. <laughs> 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 bullet. <laughs> bullet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, me kind of say, mm -hmm. Aisha Modi is like a big sister to me. 
mm-hmm. is a big sister to the industry first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Um, we speak once and often, but what I said is I don't have control over her as a person. Like, me bani, me yirini, me chiri bani. Even them I don't have control over, but with the form of relationship we have, I have to assume control to say certain things. So I can say, don't do this, whether they like it or not. They won't do it. Because probably I know better in TV or Chile, you know, you know, but I don't have control over Aisha. But we talk and I share my views. I'm like, sis, if you did, I can show you messages of me saying, sis, you know that one, they say, yeah, me know be cool, yeah, so I say, me see, back in. That's how we fight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. they, uh, that's it. Maybe I will be a follow up and I'm at mm-hmm. So, so I ask that. What if some of the things she, she says, says yes. might have some Martin implications? Again, thank you yeah. very much. Um, in that regard, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. You see where I stand? My be my dream to a certain level where I know that. Uh, Sebi, obiti baby will feel. Obita no phone your friend blog baby. As I'm walking far, I'm going to tell you that we are dear to. Mm. And those way. Mm. But you didn't make a note here. Yeah, I get it. Waka sembi ya mana den timi yo. O ni mi bebi ya bati ya diya tu. Bati ya siye. Oka ane papa kwe bi anka ye njindi. Afi nebe kwa kwa verify se. Eh, I'm passed di. Oka ane ya se papa. I mean what they said about me. Mm-hmm. Because it's a positive thing. They're going to verify if it was true. Mm-hmm. But most of it, when people say negative things about us, it just goes, ooh, this is what he said. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, she says some things that I know nothing about. Mm. But anything she has said within the confines of, let's hit the nail straight on the head, mm-hmm. of what happened at the SAC vibe, mm-hmm. she was there. So she has the right to have come out to give her statement about whatever she saw mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. Just like some people also from the same scene who were not even there were able to go and propagate some sort of lies about what they didn't see. So, mm. I mean, I'm grateful that people talk about me. If they don't, you're nobody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really grateful. Mm. Because in the end, people are trying to be talked about. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm grateful. Mm. But sometimes, it's not all that you hear that is negative, mm. that is true. And it's not all that you hear that is positive, mm-hmm. that is true. Mm. Okay, so let me ask this before I invite my panel members into it. Um, an incident happened in Ashaiman where a supposed security person yeah. uh, was in the news for attacking Kelvin Boy. Yeah. Uh, later, your fan put up a release that yeah. uh, the boy was not even as, as a member of your team. He wasn't then a member of your team. Later, I'm sure we also saw him following you uh, on some occasions. Mm. I think even at a Sunset Sound Clash, mm. he was on the stage with you. Uh, how have you dealt with him with regards to what happened and now that he's also back in your team? Um, I think what we put out, I also read and confirmed, is that at the, at within that period, there was no form of any employment whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't disassociate me from him. I'll stand here and speak the truth only. Mm-hmm. These are my brothers. Sammy, if you see me rolling with the certain people, they are my brothers. When you see Alayi, the you know, because of diplomacy, some people have told lies and they will lie and disassociate. Mm-hmm. I'm the leader of the gang, I'm the leader of the BIM nation. Mm-hmm. It will be a twice in the both first. Mm-hmm. And that's how you're a wrong leader, my guy. Mm. You see? But these are my people. That was a shy man. The incident had happened, there were follow ups. Right here on your show, I think some statements were made that was very disrespectful to the city. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. owing to that same city, and it shows under the auspices of Renata Music Group that have held a number of events that same set artists got opportunities to, to, be to showcase mm. and got these same opinion leaders, these are elder brothers in the society, to support because I came and gave them. But the way in that derogatory manner he expressed himself towards the city got everybody pissed off. You get what I'm, and the subsequent follow ups mm. there, there on. Mm. So, whatever happened over there, I had zero idea about. I was in my studio at home when I even got calls that the said person had started insinuating that I was the one who said. But guess what? Uh, one thing I never said is that that's done and done. He came to apologize. Mm-hmm. 
and I was waiting for them to put it on the on, on the so same to Ashaman. Yeah, on the same platform that they oh, so Kelvin has been to Ashaman to apologize. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, so I was happy you guys. Have you guys? Have you guys no, I'm not. Uh, see, you see me. I'm not interested. You see, I talk, I tell you people mm. through me. I'm not interested. I'm interested in and I'm soon at Obi Yawa Biaba. And as I'm saying, I mean, still me to me be in world more Yawa. But young Timisa and I'm soon at Obi Yawa Biaba. The Ametri say, and I'm not soon. I give me so I say I am a kind of criminal. Maybe because of that, I come in person, I come in sana with here. So I was hoping that you would have put that back on social media, and then everybody. But it's also good he didn't. But on mm -hmm. your show, because this was where it all started, mm -hmm. that's why I'm saying this. I never mm -hmm. said this anywhere. I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was actually there in the presence of his manager. Mm -hmm. And exactly, they did. They did the due mm -hmm. diligence. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that. You know, we have seen improvement since then from such behaviors. Mm. So I believe that the honorable people of my honorable city are cool now and whatever they do. Mm. So, so you know? does it mean that on the day that you're going to do your peace walk, can he join you? Because since there is peace. Oh, I, you see, honestly speaking, me, I don't come in hypocrite movement, you know. Mm. Uh, my peace walk is my peace walk. Mm. And because we want you to show peace, people that maybe there's, have peace. There's so that. much peace already. Uh -huh. And when you are invited, you can come. It doesn't depend on So, just are you inviting people before they can come for the peace? Well, I thought you said it was an open. Yeah, it's, it's open, but I wouldn't want any, you know, any kind of controversial, whatever, whatever. So, sometimes it's just nice to just leave things and wait till the right time when it seems like. I mean, it's, not, it's natural. Okay, yeah, I know you